नमस्कार मैं डॉक्टर मनोज उभड़े सहायक प्राध्यापक गणित उच्च शिक्षा उत्कृष्टता संस्थान भोपाल आपका स्वागत करता हूँ इस मॉड्यूल में हम बीएससी फर्स्ट ईयर के मैथमेटिक्स के माइनर पेपर कैलकुलस में बीटा एवं गामा फंक्शन टॉपिक को कवर करेंगे इस मॉड्यूल में कवर किए जाने वाले टॉपिक निम्नानुसार है लर्निंग आउटकम्स लिंक टू प्रीवियस टॉपिक इंट्रोडक्शन गामा फंक्शन प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ गामा फंक्शन रिलेटेड क्वेश्चंस बीटा फंक्शन एंड प्रॉपर्टीज ऑफ बीटा फंक्शंस रिलेशन बिटवीन बीटा फंक्शन एंड गामा फंक्शन समरी लिंक फॉर फर्दर रीडिंग रिफरेंसेस असेसमेंट क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर कीज लर्निंग आउटकम After completing this module, student will be able to understand the concept of beta and gamma functions as well as the properties of beta and gamma functions. Students will also learn about the relationship between the beta function and gamma function. Link to previous topic. To understand this module, it is very important for the students to know about factorial function and integral. introduction functions are very important part of mathematics a function is a special correlation between two data sets one such set of function is euler's integral functions this group consists of two types namely gamma and beta function beta is a two variable function while gamma is a single variable function the relation between the beta and gamma function will help solve many mathematics and physics problem the beta function in mathematics explain the association between the set of inputs and the outputs each input value the beta function is strongly associate with one output value while the gamma function behave like a factorial for natural numbers its extension to the positive real number makes it useful for modeling situation involving continuous change with important application to calculus differential equation complex analysis and statistics now we introduce gamma function the definite integral integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx is called the gamma function and it is denoted by gamma n the capital letter gamma from the greek alphabet gamma function is also called euler's integral of second kind the integral convergence only for n is positive thus we have gamma n equals to integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx where n is greater than 0 the integral 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx does not converges when n is less than equals to 0 now we have some properties of gamma function the first property gamma 1 equals to 1 by the definition of gamma function here we write gamma n equals to integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx now we put n equals to 1 we obtain gamma 1 equals to integration 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx n equals to 1 so that we have integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x dx by simple integration we get is equals to 1 since limit x tends to infinity e to the power minus x equals to 0 so we have gamma 1 is equals to 1 property second for any positive integer n we prove that gamma n equals to n minus 1 gamma n minus 1 by definition of gamma function 
gamma n equals to integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 dx by using integrating by parts we have x to the power n minus 1 e to the power minus x this whole upon minus 1 with the limit x equals to 0 to infinity minus integration between 0 to infinity differentiation of e to the power x integration of e to the uh, x to the power n minus 1 and dx by simple calculation we have minus limit x tends to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon e to the power x plus 0 minus integration between 0 to infinity n minus 1 minus e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 2 dx the first part minus limit x tends to infinity x to the power n minus 1 upon e to the power x will be 0 so we have gamma n equals to n minus 1 integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x x to the power n minus 1 minus 1 dx again by definition of gamma function here we write n minus 1 gamma n minus 1 hence gamma n equals to n minus 1 into gamma n. now we have some remark gamma n plus 1 equals to n gamma n if n is a positive fraction then we can write gamma n equals to n minus 1 n minus 2 n minus 3 n minus r gamma n minus r where n is greater than r if n is a non-negative integer then gamma n plus 1 equals to n gamma n again we have by definition of gamma gamma n plus 1 equals to n gamma n n minus 1 gamma n minus 1 by continuing this way we get gamma n plus 1 equals to n n minus 1 n minus 2 up to this this 3 to 1 because gamma 1 is equals to 1 hence gamma n plus 1 equals to factorial n where n equals to 0 1 2 and so on this shows that the gamma function can be regarded as generalization of the elementary factorial function. Now, we have some related question. First, we prove that the gamma 1 by 2 equals to under root pi. By the definition of gamma function, we have gamma n equals to integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x, x to the power n minus 1 dx. We put n equals to 1 by 2 and we get gamma 1 by 2 equals to integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus x upon under root x dx. Now we put under root x equals to y then dy equals to dx upon 2 under root x and y varies from 0 to infinity. Therefore gamma 1 by 2 equals to 2 integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy. That means integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy plus integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy. By simple property, here we write minus integration minus infinity to 0 e to the power minus y square dy plus integration between 0 to infinity e to the power minus y square dy. And therefore, gamma 1 by 2 equals to integration between minus infinity to plus infinity e to the power minus y square dy and this equals to under root pi. Now evaluate gamma 9 by 2. By definition of gamma function here we write gamma 9 by 2 equals to 9 by 2 minus 1 gamma 9 by 2 minus 1 and by again definition of gamma function here we write gamma 9 by 2 equals to 7 by 2 into 5 by 2 into 5 by 2 minus 1 gamma 5 by 2 minus 1. This equals to 7 by 2 into 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 gamma 3 by 2. Gamma 3 by 2 means 3 by 2 minus 1 gamma 3 by 2 minus 1. Therefore, gamma 9 by 2 equals to 7 by 2 into 5 by 2 into 3 by 2 into 1 by 2 gamma 1 by 2 and this is equals to 105 upon 16 under root pi that means the value of gamma 9 by 2 is equals to 105 upon 16 under root 
phi when n is a negative fraction then gamma n plus 1 equals to n gamma n gamma n equals to gamma n plus 1 upon n now we find the value of gamma minus 1 by 2 since gamma n equals to gamma n plus 1 upon n now we put n equals to minus 1 by 2 we get gamma minus 1 by 2 is equals to gamma minus 1 by 2 plus 1 upon minus 1 by 2 that means gamma 1 by 2 upon minus 1 by 2 and therefore minus 2 under root pi because gamma 1 by 2 equals to under root pi now we introduce beta function the definite integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx is called the beta function and it is denoted by beta mn read as beta mn the above integral converges for m is positive n is positive that means we have a beta mn equals to integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx where m and n both are positive beta function is also called Euler's integral of the properties of beta function first property beta function is symmetric that means beta mn equals to beta nn by the definition of beta function here we write beta mn equals to integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx we put 1 minus x equals to y so that dx equals to minus dy when x equals to 1 then y equals to 0 when x equals to 0 then y equals to 1 therefore beta mn equals to integration between 1 to 0 1 minus y raised to m minus 1 y raised to n minus 1 minus dy therefore beta mn equals to integration between 0 to 1 y raised to n minus 1 1 minus y raised to m minus 1 dy by the property of definite integral here we have beta mn equals to integration between 0 to 1 x to the power n minus 1 1 minus x raised to m minus 1 dx and by definition of beta function here we write beta nm therefore beta mn equals to beta nm property 2 prove that beta mn equals to 2 integration between 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 1 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta by definition of beta function here we write beta mn equals to integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx put x equals to sin square theta so that dx equals to 2 sin theta cos theta d theta that means dx equals to sin 2 theta d theta when x equals to 1 then theta equals to pi by 2 and x equals to 0 then theta equals to 0 therefore beta mn equals to integration between 0 to pi by 2 sin square theta raised to m minus 1 cos square theta raised to n minus 1 2 sin theta cos theta d theta by simple calculation we get 2 integration between 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 2 theta cos 2n minus 2 theta sin theta cos theta d theta therefore 2 integration between 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 1 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta hence beta mn equals to 2 integration between 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 1 theta cos 2n minus 1 d theta note the integration 0 to pi by 2 sin 2m minus 1 theta cos 2n minus 1 theta d theta is equals to 1 by 2 beta mn now we prove that beta mn equals to beta m plus 1 n beta m n plus 1 by definition of beta function here we write beta m plus 1 n plus beta m n plus 1 is equals to integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 dx plus integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x raised to n dx that means integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m 1 minus x to the power n minus 1 plus x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n dx equal uh, this equals to integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 1 
वन माइनस एक्स टू दी पावर एन माइनस वन इन टू एक्स प्लस वन माइनस एक्स डी एक्स एंड दिस इज नथिंग बट इंट्रीगेशन बिटवीन जीरो टू वन एक्स टू दी पावर एन माइनस वन वन माइनस एक्स टू दी पावर एन माइनस वन डी एक्स एंड बाई डेफिनेशन ऑफ बीटा फंक्शन हियर वी राइट बीटा एम एन सो दैट बीटा एम एन इक्वल्स टू बीटा एम प्लस वन एन बीटा एम एन प्लस वन नेक्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी If m and n are positive integers, then beta m n equals to factorial m minus one, factorial n minus one upon factorial m plus n minus one. By definition of beta function, beta m n equals to integration between zero to one x to the power m minus one, one minus x to the power n minus one dx. By simple calculation, that means using integrating by parts, we have. x to the power m minus 1 1 minus x to the power n upon n into minus 1 limit 0 to 1 minus integration between 0 to 1 1 minus x to the power n upon n into minus 1 m minus 1 into x to the power m minus 2 d2 by simple calculation here we have beta m n equals to n minus 1 upon n integration between 0 to 1 x to the power m minus 2 1 minus x raised to n dx That means beta m n equals to m minus one upon n beta m minus one n plus one. Now to find beta m minus one n plus one. To obtain this, we put m equals to m minus one and n equals to n plus one in equation number first. Then we have beta m minus one n plus one equals to m minus two upon n plus one beta m minus two n plus. From equation two, we have beta m n equals to m minus one upon n into m minus two upon n plus one beta m minus two n plus two. Changing m to m minus two and n to n plus two. From two, we have beta m minus two n plus two equals to m minus three upon n plus two beta m minus three n plus two. From equation three, we have beta m n equals to m minus one upon n. M minus two upon n plus one, m minus three upon n plus two, beta m minus three n plus two. This is equation number four. Proceeding like this, we get beta m n equals to beta m n equals to m minus one, m minus two, m minus m minus two, m minus m minus one upon n n plus one n plus two, n plus m minus two, beta m minus m minus one. n plus m minus one. That means m minus one, m minus two up to dash dash three to one upon n n plus one, n plus two up to dash dash n plus m minus two. Beta one, n plus one minus. One. But by definition of beta function, beta one, n plus m minus one is equals to integration between zero to one, x to the power zero, one minus x to the power n plus m minus two dx. By simple calculation, we have integration between zero to one, one minus x raised to n plus m minus two dx. That means one minus x raised to n plus m minus one upon n plus m minus one into minus one with the limit zero to one. Finally, we have beta one n plus m minus one is equals to one upon m plus m minus one. From equation five. We have beta m n equals to m minus one m minus two up to dash dash three to one upon n n plus one n plus two n plus m minus two n plus m minus one. That is factorial m minus one upon n n plus one n plus two up to dash dash n plus m minus one. Multiplying the numerator and denominator by factorial n minus one, we have beta m n equals to factorial m minus one factorial n minus one upon n plus m minus one n plus n minus two up to dash dash n plus one n factorial n minus one, which means beta m n equals to factorial m minus one factorial n minus one upon factorial n plus m minus one. Therefore, beta m n equals to m factorial m minus one factorial n minus one upon factorial n plus m minus one. Summary. Learning outcome. Link to previous topic. Introduction. Definition of beta and gamma function. 
properties of beta and gamma function related questions relation between beta and gamma function summary link for further reading and re links for further reading references assessment questions इनमें से सही विकल्प सही विकल्प चुनना है द वैल्यू ऑफ गामा फाइव इज फैक्टोरियल फोर द वैल्यू ऑफ गामा माइनस वन बाय टू इज माइनस टू अंडर उठ पाई द वैल्यू ऑफ गामा माइनस वन बाय टू इज बीटा वन बाय टू वन धन्यवाद जय हिंद जय भारत